Hey everybody, welcome back to Grandma Jane's World. And here we are making today a pudding dessert. That is, I kind of browsed the YouTube and I didn't see anything like it. And this has been a favorite of my family and a lot of people's for years. So we're gonna make this. It's got like a crust and it starts with the stick of butter that I softened. Put it all in a bowl and make kind of this crust that you bake at 350 for about 20 minutes. Two tablespoons of sugar. Kind of cream that together. It's nice when it's softened, it goes a lot faster. And then a cup of flour. And also to make it really tasty and give it some texture is a half a cup of pecans that I have chopped up here. Put the rest of this flour in. And then uh, we'll put it in a 9 by 13 pan to bake. Then I'll let that cool and we'll add our other layers to it. It's not hard, but it is, it is delicious. And I know it's rich, but it really tastes light when you eat it. So there goes the pecans, or pecans, however you like to say it. Mix that up, blend that together. And then it's just a real thin crust. It's not that much to it, but it just adds more flavor and texture. So, we're going to grab this 9 by 13 here, and pour it in there. Shout out to Jackie, a friend of mine. Our kids were in the same grades at Catholic school growing up. They moved later on, but I got a recipe from her, and boy, did I make it all the time. People just loved it. And they still do when I make it, and they still ask for the recipe. So I thought, being that popular, you guys might like it out there too. And okay, just pat it into the pan. Don't need any grease because it's got a stick of margarine in there, so it's plenty greased. I think I'm finally getting rested up from being up in the hospital with mom. Tell you that, they say that is one of the most exhausting things. You don't do anything, you both basically sit there, get up and walk once in a while, but it's just the anxiety of not knowing what's next and waiting for the doctors and all that. And I'll tell you, it was tiring, let alone what it would do to my poor mother. I mean, she had to be probably still exhausted. She's still up in the uh, what do you call it, swing bed at the hospital where they get her rested up and do therapy. Okay, this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes just to kind of bake that a little and then I'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, welcome back and I just took the crust out to let it cool for the pudding dessert and we'll go on to making our middle layer. It is a half a cup of powdered sugar and eight ounces of cream cheese that I have softened. Put in the microwave for just a little bit. You can leave it set out, but I didn't have it sitting out, so I am microwaved it a little bit. Doesn't take long. And one cup of Cool Whip. But first, what you wanna do is to blend the cheeses with the sugar, blend the cheese with the sugar and then fold in the Cool Whip after that's all incorporated. Okay, looks pretty good. Now we're gonna take the cup of Cool Whip and we already got measured out here. That gets it the best. And fold it. So that is not really mixing as much as I'll show you here. When you fold something, you just come up from the bottom and go back to the top. Up from the bottom 
and fold it over the top till it's all pretty well incorporated. Okay, that will be the middle layer. And I'm gonna set that aside for now and we'll go on to our top layer, which is two packages of instant pudding and uh, two cups of milk. You open up your pudding. Now I'm using a package of vanilla and a package of chocolate. Um, it's not quite as chocolatey as two packages of chocolate would be, but um, tastes good. I'll have this situated very good for you. There. So uh, that's what I chose, but there's uh, butterscotch and lemon and, you know, um, all sorts. It used to be butter pecan. I don't know if they still make that one. And then um, all you do is take those puddings and pour two cups of milk into the bowl and mix, mix it up. And it's instant pudding, so it doesn't take too long to get it pretty thick. Kind of whisk it away. And then all we have to do after that is mix the pudding and milk, spread over the middle layer, and top with Cool Whip. And then you can also do shavings of chocolate, you know, or um, little candies on top if you want. I don't know if I ever have. I think I have shaved a little chocolate on top. And I usually do use chocolate pudding because it seems like that's the most popular with the people that I hang out with and my kids. So, okay, we'll grab this. Just makes a nice little crust and it's not too thick. It doesn't even cover all the glass um, pan, but. Okay, then we're gonna take and put our mixture with the cream cheese on. I just wish you could taste this one because it is so good. Like I said, it tastes kind of light and light and, I don't know, fluffy, but it's just yummy. I was always so appreciative to have gotten this recipe. Anywhere you take it to, they eat it all, that's for sure. I think I'll take mom a piece of this. This, she'd love it, something different. I think she's really sick of hospital food. Uh, no offense, hospital, but <laughs> it doesn't take too long to get sick of it. I'm sorry. So she will be ready for some good home-cooked food. And I've been taking her a milkshake and stuff, too, once in a while. She seems to be doing good on eating breakfast, but not the best on the other two meals. But as long as she has that good breakfast, you know, with eggs and pancakes or whatever, bacon, then she's getting quite, quite a good nutrition. All right, then we've got the layer with the pudding. That got thick fast. My gosh, it's 78 degrees here, it's humid. And it's been raining off and on and stuff. Kind of a different weather. They said there was some uh, tornadoes in Minnesota a couple nights ago. I'm like, really? And it wasn't even like humid and warm. You usually expect that and then the cold air comes in and causes the rotation of the clouds and formation of the tornadoes. But no, it wasn't like that. It was very strange. But the weather has been strange for several years now. So nothing really surprises me. 
but it does make me think, wow, what's going on, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, I got a lot of packing up to do, and I'm trying to sell some things, and it's always a busy time when you're trying to, you're thinking of moving. But you know what, you go through stuff and you get rid of a lot, which is good. I didn't realize I was a pack rat and I don't think I'm too bad a one. But you do hang on more to stuff when you don't, you know, you know you're not gonna move anywhere. So this is the last layer, is the cool up on top. Crust was a little warm, but it'll be fine. I'll put this in the refrigerator so it stays chilled and good. I'm going to make a meal for my neighbors tomorrow. and I know the guy is, went in and had a cat, cataract surgery today. And I said, how would you like some breaded tenderloins tomorrow? <laughs> he said, that sounds yum. So I thought, hey, I'll even have some dessert to go with it. It's always kind of fun to have dessert. But this is a good time for me to make it because I can dole it out to people because there's no way I'd be munching on this all the time. And I do have friends that don't really bake or cook and they enjoy it. So I don't really have too much trouble getting rid of it. But it's always nice to kind of have someone and then to make it part of their meal. That's kind of cool. All right, that is all spread and in place. This isn't a hard uh, dessert at all to make. And then I think what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like when we cut into it. Which I forgot to get a plate out. I think I'm getting forgetful. <laughs> That's what happens when you're sitting in the hospital for eight days. <laughs> but, oh, what a wonderful place that no, Rochester is. Mayo Clinic is unreal. Okay, so. pretty slick and there you have it delicious pudding dessert you guys try it and enjoy everybody love you bye